Hey guys, it's Alicia. Now today I am going to be trying out a new type of a bomb. I've never made these before, but they are going to be sloppy joe bombs. Now if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that I absolutely love the two ingredient pizza dough and I love making different bombs. I think I've made cheeseburger, taco, Philly, maybe something else, but I've made several different types and I just had the idea of making a sloppy joe bomb. I might have actually got this idea from a viewer, I can't remember, but sloppy joe bomb sounded good, so I'm gonna kind of just throw this together and see how it turns out, hopefully good. But I will go over the ingredients that I'm gonna use to make this real quick. So to start off for the dough, I'm gonna be using some self-rising flour and some non-fat plain Greek yogurt. Then for the filling, I'm gonna be using eight ounces of lean ground turkey. This is 93% lean. Half cup of 40% less fat cheese. This is the Kroger Mexican style blend that I love using. And here I've got half of a red onion chopped and half of a red bell pepper chopped. Gonna be using a little Worcestershire sauce a little no sugar added ketchup, some no sugar added barbecue sauce, probably about one of these dill spares, maybe more, but I'm thinking probably one. A little Dijon mustard. Back here, I've got some light brown sugar. I'm gonna be using probably a couple teaspoons of that. And then for seasoning, I'm gonna be doing some chili powder, some ground cumin, some black pepper, and then also some minced garlic. And then finally, I usually do an egg wash on my bombs, but this time I'm gonna just use some of this olive oil cooking spray. And that, I believe, is everything that I'm gonna be putting in this. If I decide to add something else, I will show you when I do that, but let's get started and see how these come together. Okay, so to start off, I'm gonna make my dough, which is just a cup of the self-rising flour, and then a cup of the Greek yogurt, but I don't use a cup anymore. I use more, probably closer to three quarter of a cup. And I've just found that that makes it to where I don't have to use as much flour when I'm kneading. So I use probably, like I said, probably a little closer to three quarter of a cup. So I have my Greek yogurt in there and then I'm simply going to mix the two of these together. And actually, this time, I'm gonna add a little bit of this granulated garlic to it. You can add whatever types of seasoning to your dough that you want to. I always forget, but um, I have tried the garlic in it and I like that a lot. So I'm gonna just add a little of that in there too. And then I'm gonna mix this all up until it forms what looks like a dough. And then at that point, I'm going to knead it on a floured surface for about five minutes. So I'm not gonna show all that because I've shown making this dough a million times, but that's how you do it. You just mix this and then knead it for about five minutes. To do the filling, I'm starting off with a large pan here that I've got on medium high heat. And I'm gonna just add in my turkey and my onion and peppers, and also a little black pepper. And I'm gonna just cook this in here until that meat is done and those veggies are softened. Now I, I'm not using a nonstick pan here, but I have found that I don't really, even though it's not nonstick, I don't really need to use olive oil. I used to use a little bit of olive oil when using this pan, but I found I don't really need to. So that's why I'm not using any olive oil in here or any type of oil. The veggies kind of produce liquid when they cook, and so that kind of keeps it from sticking. So I'm gonna just get this cooked and, and then I will be back. Okay, so now I'm gonna add in a little bit of minced garlic, probably about a teaspoon, maybe a little more. I love garlic. And looking at this now, I probably should have cut my veggies a little bit smaller. Those are probably too big, but anyway, 
That's okay. So I'm gonna let this cook in here for about a minute. And also, at this point, I think I will add in my chili powder. I'm gonna add probably about a teaspoon is what I'm going for. And then also my ground cumin. And I'm gonna put in probably about a half teaspoon of that. And then I'm gonna just mix this all in here and let this cook along with the garlic for just a little bit longer. Okay, I let that cook for about a minute in there. Now I'm gonna add in my Worcestershire sauce about, well, I'll just measure this out since this does contain points after a certain point. I'm gonna do a teaspoon of that. Then I'm gonna add in just a little bit of Dijon. Only half a teaspoon, maybe less. Mix that in there. I'll turn my heat down a little bit to medium. Ah, uh, now I'm gonna add a quarter cup of the no sugar added ketchup and a quarter cup of barbecue sauce. And I'm gonna just mix that in there. Okay, and I almost forgot my sugar and pickles, so I'm gonna add in two teaspoons of brown sugar. And then one of those pickle spears that I just chopped up. That all stirred in. Then I'm gonna let this just kind of cook together for a few minutes on low heat. I've turned my heat down to low and then it will be done. Okay, I've got my meat mixture cooling over there now that I let it cook for a few minutes. So now I'm gonna move on to my dough, which I have kneaded out. And I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna cut it into eight equal parts, or as close to eight equal parts as I can get. And then I'm gonna take each one of those parts and I'm gonna flatten it out into a circle of roughly five inch diameter, about like that. And then over here, I've got a pan with parchment paper and I'm gonna be laying these circles on that. Go like that. And also I've got my oven preheated to 425 right now. So I'm gonna continue taking this dough, making little circles out of it, and putting them on my pan here, and then I'll be back. I've got four of these rolled out, and I usually like to only do four of these at a time, so I'll show you what the next step is. I've got my meat mixture here, and I'm just gonna take about a quarter cup of that and put it right in the middle of these. Actually, probably a little less than a quarter cup. Maybe like three tablespoons. And then next I'm gonna take my cheese here. I'm gonna put about a half a tablespoon of this on each one on the top. Like that. And then I didn't show the first one here, but what I'm doing is just taking the edges of the dough, kind of pulling it up, pinching it together like that, folding it till it's sealed, and then I just turn it over like that. So I'm gonna make up the rest of these and then I will be back. I've got those all rolled out and I ended up with a little bit of extra meat. I don't think that's really picking up on the camera, but a little extra, so I would say probably fill these closer to the um, quarter cup that I kind of started out with, but somewhere in between three to four tablespoons. So now I'm gonna spritz the top of these with a little bit of olive oil spray. And then I'm gonna bake them at 425 for about 15 minutes. 
Okay, it's been 15 minutes. I'm gonna pull these out. They're looking done. And then I will show you what the points are for these. And here is a serving of those, which is gonna be two. And on green, that's gonna be nine points. And on blue and purple, it is going to be eight. Um, we're gonna have ours with a little bit of honey mustard. Now, I think these would be good with ketchup, barbecue sauce, regular mustard, probably a lot of different things. We're gonna do honey mustard. Now that is probably gonna carry points. I need to figure out what that is. I'm still looking for the sugar-free honey mustard. I can't find it in my stores, but that's just regular. So I'll have to figure points for that. Also, I think that I probably should have stuck with the egg wash on these. They didn't really brown up as you can see. Maybe a tiny little bit. So I won't be lazy next time I make these and skip that step because the olive oil spray didn't really work very well. Regular olive oil probably might, but yeah, I don't know. The egg, egg wash works really well and it shouldn't actually add any points to these. Definitely not on blue and purple because eggs are zero on blue and purple. But anyway, just wanted to point that out too. They don't look as good as they would with the egg wash. Okay, go ahead. Miracle Blade. Miracle Blade. <laughs> Chef Tony. Hey, Ooh. those those knives are great. I love those things. It yeah. smells good. There we go. That looks like inside. Then now the brown the bottoms browned up real nicely, just the tops didn't. I wonder if you could put that in a, the air fryer. I thought about it, but then I didn't know exactly how that would work. I'll probably try doing the bombs in the air fryer here. Coming up at some point. Another book in there. So you get, uh, the first thing is the dough, and this is the three ingredient dough. Two. Two. But yes. Two. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's what I was saying. Yeah. Just flour and yogurt. Yeah, flour and yogurt. And it's got a really nice. Oh, I'm sorry. I added a little garlic to it this time. Can yeah. you tell that at all? Maybe I didn't add enough. Perhaps, because you can really. The first thing that I taste is the dough. Okay. Um, and then you get you start getting the tanginess of the ingredients of the sloppy joes of the like the barbecue sauce mm. and the ketchup. ketchup and the pickle. Um, now this is a, a Weight Watchers. Yeah. So it's not quite as uh, tangy or sweet as a traditional sloppy joe. Yeah, because for one thing, traditional sloppy joes have a ton of sugar. Yeah. Now it's, it's it's very good. I mean, I I have yet to have one of these uh, bombs. Yeah. That's not. That that's not good, and the the honey mustard really pairs well with okay. it. Yeah, I need to find that G Hughes honey mustard because that stuff is sugar stuff, but. So you like them? Yeah. Can you taste the cheese in them at all? Well, let me take another bite. And there's not a lot either. There's just a little bit of cheese. No? Hmm. I mean, that might be added to the, to, you know, adding a rich kind of savory element. I'm not. To the overall flavor, yeah. I'm not sure. Yeah. I was going to say, because, you know, that. I mean, it's not like it's blue cheese, right? Where it would be really. No, noticeable. but that's a, actually, that's a good idea. Blue cheese would be well, good enough. Blue cheese is always a good idea. Blue cheese is always a good idea, unless you hate blue cheese, but we love blue cheese. So these are on green, nine points for two, which I think is pretty close to the other ones that, that we've done point wise. So thoughts on that? Do you think it's worth nine points? Oh, absolutely, yeah. Um, what is your favorite of these so far? Is it the Philly still? Yeah. Okay. And I'll try to find the other videos where I did the other kinds of these. I have one, I think the cheeseburger is a video all by itself. And then the other ones I've done, I think are in videos, but I'll see if I can find them and link them down below and up above if you want to check out the different ones of these we've done. I think, the cheeseburger one is probably still my favorite, but I also haven't tried these yet. So, all right, that is Sloppy Joe Bombs. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you as always for watching and we will see you on the next one.